Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Obi's Garden. In this video, I share with you what actually happens when you grow carrots using egg crates or egg cartons. When growing carrots, one of the tricky things to get right is the spacing. Due to the small seeds, getting the correct spacing without wasting so much seed is always a challenge. One way to go around this is by using egg crates to serve as a guide. Air crates can also serve as mulch and thus reduce the frequency of watering. I gave this hack a try when growing carrots in containers and decided to share my experience with you. I also provide more tips to make this technique for growing carrots work well for you. It turned out to be a very interesting process, so stick around as I break it down. I started by filling the container with well-drained sandy loam soil. Then I had to water the soil and allow it to drain overnight before sowing the carrot seeds. This was to ensure that the soil was thoroughly moistened throughout. There's another important reason for doing this and you see that shortly. Once the soil was ready, I prepared the egg crate by poking holes in the valleys using the head of a nail. Note that paper egg crate was used. Plastic or styrofoam air crates should not be used for this. After making the holes, I cut the edges of the crate to enable it to fit into the container. Now it was time to plant the carrot seeds. Placing the seeds on a sheet of paper enabled me to gently drop two to three seeds in each hole made in the air crate. Because the soil surface was already moist, it ensured that the seeds didn't move around once it dropped in the hole. To ensure germination, I covered the seeds with about half to an inch layer of river sand. I then gave it a light watering. The light watering was to ensure that the seeds are not displaced after watering. Finally, I covered the container with clean film to help maintain the moisture and reduce the need for frequent watering. I poked tiny holes in the clean film using a toothpick to facilitate exchange of gases. If you are enjoying this video, Click on the like button to let people know. You can also share the video so more people will benefit from it. After about 8 days, the carrot seed has started to emerge. And by day 20, all the seedlings had emerged and were growing nicely. Note that if you make the layer of sun too thick, some of the seeds will not germinate as can be seen in your shorts. This was a good time to thin the seedlings to one or at most two per hole. Although one seedling per hole is ideal, you can keep two seedlings per hole and thin to one per hole once they start growing big. This can allow you to use the greens of the discarded carrot seedlings. It's possible to find some seeds emerging from the side of the container. These were probably displaced during watering and they need to be removed and discarded. Due to the presence of the air crate, only liquid fertilizer could be applied. I applied MPK 15-15-15 fertilizer at a rate of 5 gram per liter when the seedlings were about 4 weeks old. For subsequent fertilizer applications, which happened at two to three week intervals, I applied organic seaweed fertilizer as foliar spray. I also applied this fertilizer directly to the carrot roots on a few occasions.
after about 80 days, most of the carrots were ready to be harvested. I used two different carrot varieties that had different maturity periods ranging from 70 to 90 days. Therefore, 80 days was a good time to start the harvesting. The early maturing variety was planted in the yellow containers. As you can see, they look smaller than your regular carrot, but that's their normal size. The round container was planted with the late maturing variety. Since it normally takes about 90 days to mature, I just harvested one and left the rest for later. As you can see also, this was a decent sized carrot, much bigger than the early maturing type. Notice that, although the egg crate was in place, it didn't interfere with the harvesting since it had become soft over time. In my opinion, using egg crates for growing carrots is a great way to make growing carrots more exciting and to get more decent sized carrots per container. Give it a try and let me know what you think. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to enjoy more of our content. If you have not already done so, don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you get notified of our new videos. You can also check out our other videos or see you in our next. Until then, it's adios.